Hello my keto peeps, it's Samaya and welcome back to my channel, I Don't Sugarcoat. I've got another crust recipe for you guys. And this one is more for making something sweet. So let's get started. Okay, so this one is much like the flaky pie crust you guys this one uses almost well it uses the same base ingredients you guys and then we're gonna add in some extra stuff so we can use this to make it for something that's gonna be a nice sweet treat okay so we're gonna start off by adding sorry about that we're gonna start off by adding the half a cup of lupin flour And then we're gonna add the half a cup of oat fiber. I'm telling you, you guys, if you order this life source oat fiber, you will be able to see that difference. I know I've been talking about this, but I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Okay, and now we're gonna add in the fourth of a cup of vital wheat gluten. Okay, and now we're gonna add in half a teaspoon of salt. And now we're gonna add in a fourth of a cup of granular sweetener. Now, I'm gonna be adding one eighth of a cup because I use pure, as you guys know. So if you are using a sweetener that has a two to one sweetness ratio to regular sugar, you will use an eighth of a cup as well. And now we're just gonna go ahead and mix this all together. Okay, now that we have that nice and blended, we're gonna go ahead and put it in our um, food processor. If you don't have a food processor for this next step, you can just add the cold dice cubes of butter to this and use a dough cutter to cut the butter into the dough. So we're using, well first we're going to go ahead and add this to our um, food processor. And now we're gonna add in half a cup of cold cubed butter, which is the equivalent of one stick. And we're gonna go ahead and add that into our flour here. And we're gonna give it some quick pulses until it's nice and crumbly. Okay guys, now we're gonna go ahead and add in one egg. And we're gonna add in half a teaspoon of vanilla. Now depending on what you're gonna be using this crust for, you can leave out the vanilla if you like. Okay, and now I'm gonna be adding in another thing that is optional. You guys can choose to use this or not. And it's called buttery sweet dough. It's a bakery emulsion. It's a bakery emulsion. Oh my God, every time I try to say that word, I feel like I'm not saying it right. Emulsion, emulsion, emulsion. I'm gonna give up. Anyway, <laughs> okay, as you guys can see, it's just a, it's a, it's like an, uh, an extract except for it's supposed to be better than that and so i just want to add this because i would love to add that nice sweet buttery flavor to this crust and so as i said you guys can choose to add this or not it's entirely up to you 
but I feel as though it makes it taste great. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let this pulse up again and get crumbly. We do not want this one to form a ball. We want this to stay crumbly. Okay, and now we're just gonna add just a little bit of water to this and go ahead and scrape down your sides if you have any of the um, crust on the sides. Right now, we, the crust is very tiny balls, but we want it to form into a little bit bigger um, balls of dough than that. So we're just gonna add just a little bit of water. And I've got two tablespoons of water here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with just one. Yeah, just one tablespoon of water to start and see if that'll do the trick. Yes, it definitely made the balls form a little bit larger. So we're just gonna do the one tablespoon of water and leave it at that. And now what we need to do, guys, is we're gonna clear our surface and we are going to form it into a ball. Okay, now that we have our surface clean, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of the oat fiber onto our surface. And now we're gonna go ahead and dump this on here. And this is exactly what you want your dough to look like. You want it to be nice and crumbly. And so now we're just gonna move it together and form it into a ball. Okay, now that we have it in a ball, what you can do now is you can go ahead and take this and wrap it in saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for an hour and then you can do whatever it is you're gonna do with it. But I have plans for this dough, so I'm gonna go ahead and break my dough down into six parts and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour. Um, when you put your, when you're wrapping your dough, you wanna flatten it down into a disc so that way it'll make it easier for you to roll out. So go ahead, get your dough wrapped up, put it in the fridge for an hour, and that's it. You can make whatever it is you wanna make for, uh, with this. I'm gonna do something a little bit different, and then you guys will get to see this dough make a reappearance in another video. You'll get to see what I intend to do with this dough and it's gonna be something really good, really delicious and I can't wait to share that with you guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, you guys, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Before I finish that thought, I'm gonna put the nutritional facts for this dough in the description of this video and I will leave any links to any of the ingredients that um, is important for this in the description of this video you guys and now as i was saying if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you're new here don't forget to click that subscribe button and don't forget to click that little bell so you can get notifications next time i post a new video and until next time you guys bye